Come on. How can anyone say no to this face? I know it's not what you want, but it's what you need right now. Hey, it's time for bed. Let's go. Come on. Got some sun coming in here, but we are outside of Walgreens. I didn't want to go in there, so I am in the car. And I have to show you this. This is going to be how we're starting off the video. Instagram. I do have an Instagram. You should follow me. But last night, I got a comment from this guy right here. And I guess he was in the magazine. And in the comments, he mentioned me. So I replied. And then this last comment right here, I don't know if you guys can read it, it says, you were mentioned in the article, and it's in Men's Health. If my name was in the magazine, I think that's pretty cool. So shout out to him, and I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble after Paige is done with Walgreens, and we're gonna check it out, just see. And I'll pick up a copy, because that's kinda cool. In one light. like that though. They didn't have the right magazine, but I asked the guy to direct message me a picture of it, because I think that's really cool. Crockpots have a higher chance of exploding on high. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm just kidding. They won't explode. I don't know how to cook. Saturday traffic. The mall's over there. I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma for those that don't know. So this street is always really, really crowded on the weekends. And like during rush hour. Oh, now we got the green. Ah, gotta wake up. Gotta wake up, gotta wake up, man. It's gym time, bro. Heavy duty. Oh, first impression of the Umoro. Uh oh. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Steve, introduce yourself. You've never been formally introduced, have you? No, I have not. My name is Steve, and I live with Michael, and I have crazy hair. And he has dreadlocks. Yeah. There you go. Come on. Pull, pull, pull. Let's go. So deadlifts, I am back doing them, and last time I touched deadlifts, I did 585 pounds, so I guess I could do like how to lose, what, 130 pounds in three months off your deadlift? Kind of. Not really, because I did 455 for three, which surprisingly felt pretty good with not really taking deadlifts seriously in quite some time. I did take some time off doing the lift just to squat more and more and more, because it's difficult for me to squat and then deadlift on the same day. It's probably just something I need to work on or just man up and stop being such a baby and do it more often. But my squat is looking better and now it's time to focus back on deadlifts, but keep the squat going strong. So this gym has band pegs and everything is gonna click on all cylinders and I know I'm gonna be able to hit 600 pounds on the deadlift this year. So we're at the point in the workout where I am done with back, did all the pulling motions and now it's time to do everyone's favorite body part and that is Biceps. So what I'm starting on is the decline. I call it a decline because when you lay down in this thing, you're basically like declining. It's like a recliner. But I guess the technical name is the incline dumbbell curl. And something with this that I've done wrong on this movement for a really long time is at the very bottom, don't swing. So come to a complete stop at the bottom of each rep. And I kind of take it down in the hammer curl and then twist it on the way up. So Take it down like this with your hands parallel to your sides. And then on the way up, bring your pinky and you twist the dumbbell. So come down parallel to your body, up, twist the pinky. Try to bring your pinky like almost to the outside of your bicep. Just this right here because believe it or not, this is actually a function of the bicep to turn your hand over. So if you take it down like this, bring it up and twist it, you're getting a little more of a squeeze in the biceps. Just a little pro tip right there. Not really a pro tip, but I find that really helpful. 
So he did end up sending me the article the next day. Did not do anything last night, anything worth vlogging. Came home, explored YouTube, watched a bunch of YouTube videos like the black hole of YouTube where you just click on one video, another video, another video, and then you end up on like some really weird videos that you're not really sure why you're watching, but they're interesting. That was me last night. It is absolutely freezing outside. This Ape Athletic shirt, not really keeping me warm right now. But they are doing a restock, so if you guys want to check that out, you can use Corey at checkout to save yourself some money. And I wanted to wrap this video up by saying stuff like that, where my name being mentioned in a magazine article, that is the, the best part for me. Not about the recognition, but seeing that something that I'm passionate about that I share with you guys actually has an impact on, on someone else and helps you guys out. And I know I might not have like the most insanely awesome life where I'm doing cool stuff all the time, I'm just a normal guy that likes to share my life and just recipes and, and things that I find helpful on camera. And it's so great to see like something as small as like my name being quoted in a magazine article. Just kind of like remind. Gosh, I'm trying to keep it together, but I'm freezing. Just kind of like reminds me why I do this. So. Oh gosh. It's always a sad day when you gotta throw the donut box away. No more.